This is Michael for New England Yacht. We provide photography related services to yacht brokers in the yachting industry. Uh, feel free to drop me an email, service at newenglandyacht.com. Uh, Colin and I went out to the northwest corner of Stellwagen, the 10th. You can see here it's a little windy, a little wavy, um, but the fishing was really good. Um, we got kind of like a weather window. Um, we're in a 26 foot striper. Uh, about 25 miles offshore. It took us a little more than an hour. We were just putting along at about uh, a little better than 20 miles an hour. You know, just keeping up the fuel economy with the uh, 225 E-Tech. Um, very fuel efficient, by the way. But um, we've basically, this is Colin's rig. You can see here he's got a haddock, and then we've, we're catching cod left and right. But uh, he's got uh, kind of like a diamond jig and a hoagie lure. And then I had uh, a big old diamond jig with uh, those little wormy guys with the red tails um, and it seemed like those were producing a lot more cod. A ton of cod out there. It seemed like we were catching more cod than we were um, haddock but you know you gotta kinda fish through the cod into the haddock. Make sure that you do yourself a favor and check the regulations before you go out. Um, we're fishing in federal waters in this particular video and so we're only allowed 15 haddock in possession um, they have to be over 17 inches. Uh, I believe that's right. It's a little confusing. Um, there's also state regulations. So federal is between 3 and 200 miles. And then you can only, all the cod you catch, make sure you throw them those back. You're only allowed one cod in state waters. You know, it was a little discouraging at first, and then when you're kind of uh, brushing the cobwebs off for the beginning of the season, you're um, you kind of trying everything, and uh, so those two jigs worked for us. I'm sure other people, you know, but mostly we were fishing with squid, um, so that was great. Um, that seemed to be really working well. Um, you know, every once in a while we'd catch a scalloping. Um, you know that when you drop down for the um, and you catch when you hook the cod, the cod fight like crazy. They really do. And man, there was some the cod were just giant cod. It seemed like um, really good size uh, haddock. Like I said, about twenty two inches. Um, uh, pretty good size. You know, not bad. Nice little fish. But you and when you drop, you you kind of knew when you had a haddock on because it'd be a nice light pull. Um, and you were like, okay, I think I have a haddock now. And then you'd be like, oh, man, now it's a scalping. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> but uh, no, it was a good time. Hope you guys get out to the northwest corner, um, do a little fishing. Um, and like I said, this was a great little boat to go out on. Um, I would say this boat has like a, it's a 225 Evinrude. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's maybe just a little underpowered. Colin was saying you could put two 200 horsepower engines on this um i believe it you could that would probably get it up to like 45 but you know fuel efficient wise man i just felt like it was really these engines are so great as far as gas goes so in conclusion guys happy uh early fishing and um hope you get out there and you're able to catch some fish and catch us at newenglandyacht.com um all right take care